Hey guys, I hope you're really well. Lena K here. I wanted to share something with you guys. When my dad passed away, which is over a month now, they put COVID-19 on his death certificate. I want to share this with you because I think it's really important. My dad died of Alzheimer's. He has been dying of Alzheimer's for the last 10 years. The doctors actually told us that he would die like five years ago. The only reason that you know his lifespan is ex has ex extended to 10 years is because we really researched into nutrition. We really researched a lot into how to keep him as healthy as possible. And we, he, he was in the home with us. So when he passed away and we got the death certificate back and it said COVID-19, we were not happy. I was like, contact the doctors. That needs to change because it's false information. There's been no testing, nothing. We spoke to our family doctor who told us that orders from higher up in the NHS, because my father's in the UK, they said orders from higher up is anybody who dies during this time. We have to put COVID-19 on the death certificate. Our family friend, a few weeks before my dad died, our family friend had a heart attack and he died. He has a history of heart disease. He also had death uh, on his death certificate. They put COVID-19. His family were livid. They were like, he didn't have COVID-19. He died of a heart attack. He has a history of heart problems. They were told the same thing from their family doctor that orders from higher up, anyone who dies at this time, we have to put COVID-19 on the death certificate. Like they are highly pressured. What has also um, been uncovered recently in the last couple of weeks is that doctors and hospitals are paid large sums of money for any COVID-19 uh, you know, patients and for putting COVID-19 on death certificates. So this raises some really, really important questions because honestly, when I first heard that and I'm here in the US, like I'm so far away, I couldn't even go to the funeral, obviously, because of the COVID-19. It raised some really important questions when I actually calmed down and I didn't want to obviously share information with you guys while I'm angry. I don't want to I don't want to transmit that kind of energy. There's enough of that stuff out there already. But some really important questions is why? Why are they inflating numbers? If people are dying from Alzheimer's, cancer, heart attacks, strokes, and they're calling it all COVID-19, why are they inflating numbers? What are the real numbers of COVID-19? Like if COVID-19 is real, because I question everything. I don't just take, you know, information people tell me and just believe that it's true. What is the benefit of them lying? Who benefits from the economic collapse, by the way? Who benefits from people being controlled and under lockdown? Who benefits from this? I don't have the answers, by the way. But what I do encourage you to do is to keep asking yourself questions because questions open the mind. Statements will close them, especially if you believe statements like this many people have died today. Da -da 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 -da. Your mind closes and you'll, you will be conditioned to live in a state of fear that actually impacts your immune system. It impacts the cells of your body. It impacts your hormones. It impacts your brain and the way that you function. And so again, why would they want that? Why, and who is they? <laughs> again, who, whose agenda is this? Why are people lying about how people die? Like who benefits from that? What are the real numbers? And so I just encourage you guys to question everything. I always tell my clients to do this, people of my mastermind club, I always tell them question everything, including me. Don't just believe statements because they will just close your mind. Ask questions because something feels a bit off. You know, my spider senses from the beginning were like something is a little bit off. Yeah, just Jesse saying the government, you know, some people are saying the insurance companies, pharmaceuticals, this and that. But it's the same thing that's happening around the world, which is interesting because the same thing that's happening in the, U in the US, every patient that is admitted into a hospital, each per bed, they are paying 13,000 US dollars for each patient for the hospitals. And if they need a respiratory machine, um, then this an extra 13,000. With any doctors in the UK that are putting COVID-19 on any kind of patient admi admissions or on patients like the, the death certificates, they're getting paid money. And so the question is why? And the question is, you know, what? Why? What? How? You know, all these questions, just keep asking yourself. Because from the beginning, from the beginning, I said to myself, 
something is very off and um i don't know what the truth is but i'm making peace with the fact that i'm never going to know the truth about this situation yeah and so even if we know that we're probably never going to know the truth it's very very important that you ask questions so that your mind continues to stay open yeah so just uh, any time they say uh this many people have died like there are websites that say the total number of deaths in the u.s is a hundred and this thousand and then there are websites that say it's 90 something thousand then some that say it's this many thousand which one is to be believed and how many of those are people that have died of other diseases yeah so just ask questions always ask questions always always ask your mind question everything and do not take your source of information from mainstream media alone look it's good to be informed but there are amazing journalists online and you know it's 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 really interesting i don't even know if this video is going to be brought down because as i'm talking about covid 19 that's how you know strict youtube is and how your know, facebook and people that they're, they're taking down these videos where anybody says anything against the narrative um videos are being pulled down videos by very very uh, credible doctors and scientists so we don't know because one thing we do know is there's a lot of conflicting evidence and uh, on opinions, shall we say, from experts. Doctors are saying opposite things, you know, governments are saying opposite things, organizations are saying opposite things. So what what is the truth here? Even if you do not get to the truth, it's important that you take everything with a pinch of salt and take control of the things you can control. You can control your health. You can control your mindset, you can control, you know, your daily habits, things that you do. Focus on your life, focus on your health. That's one thing I've been doing a lot since my dad passed away. You know, I've been serving my clients. I've been, oh, I can see my fitness trainers just tuned in now. I made sure I got in touch with someone who I trust with, you know, with, with my physical transformation to get myself as healthy and strong as I possibly can so that I am prepared for anything, <laughs> yeah? To get, get focus on my business, focus on my health, keep in touch with the people that I love, like making an extra effort with, you know, family and friends and things like that. Because, you know, people are being really conditioned uh, with fear. And when you are, you know, fear serves us, anxiety serves us, as our fight and flight response like it's supposed to be a sign for us to you know for, for survival it's not supposed to be the chronic state of your existence because then your fight and flight actually it becomes obsolete right if you're constantly in a state of fear panic anxiety then your fight and flight response is obsolete so now your judgment is impaired your intuition is off whack everything is off balance and when we have mass consciousness in this state through different countries because they believe what did you just say uh jesse apparently uk is fifty five thousand. okay from that fifty five thousand, every day on average by the way without covid 19 before that about a thousand people i believe it's i think it's over a thousand people die in the in the uk like from different things right it might be i don't know car crash stroke heart attack cancer so how many of those have they counted that that's what i want to know hmm what are the numbers during this time? Why isn't anyone talking about the deaths of cancer, the deaths of Alzheimer's, the deaths of stroke, uh, you know, victims and things like that? These deaths are supposed to still be happening, but if they're counting everything as COVID-19 with no testing, what's the real number? And who benefits from them scaring people? No, please take, take control of your family, of your health, take control, take everything with a pinch of salt. When they say 55,000, I say, yeah, maybe 500, maybe 50, yeah, realistically, because this has been going on for months now. And if every single, my dad's not the only person who's died. Like I said, a few weeks before that, our family member who's died of a heart attack, a, a history of heart disease. He had a heart attack and died. Oh, COVID-19 on the death certificate, why? What's the purpose? Who benefits? You know, the corporations, they're open. Big businesses and companies, they're open. The small businesses, people, you know, where it's like one business that's running, that keeps the whole family afloat. The small businesses, it's the small business owner, the individuals, the solopreneurs, they're the ones that are really suffering. Otherwise, the big, you know, supermarkets and corporations, they're making profits, big time profits. And the small businesses that are really, really, really suffering. And so who benefits from that? You know, what is the what is the purpose? So, hey, guys, how are you guys doing? Um, lots of love to all of you. So look, if you find value in this video, 
share it you know that's why i'm sharing it with you because something's off and like i said we might not know the truth but at least ask yourself questions question everything including me including this video because questions will open your mind when you just believe a statement it will just close it okay guys i love you all i hope you're doing really really well wherever you are around the wall around the wall <laughs> around the world stay healthy stay positive and like I said, take control of the things you do have control. We don't have control over the crazy media and government and things like that. But we do have control over ourselves. Until we master ourselves, we can't really master anything else anyway, right? So, yeah, I love you all. Big hug as well for you guys. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you all. Thank you for your condolences. I appreciate you all. Lots of love. Take care. I'll speak to you soon.